All right, so it's been a bit of a while since the last upload, but there's not been much to actually cover in Marvel's Avengers. Now, we have the, the video today for Kate Bishop, which is a deep dive into our nine-minute video. So what I'll be looking to do in this video is actually watch it, and I'm going to give my reactions as well. I was planning to do it as a, a live stream, but I've got a various amount of things that are going on at the moment. I'm not going to get into them in this video, but I've got quite a lot going on at the moment, so we're just doing this a, a pre-recorded video, but let's jump in and let's watch this, and I'll give my live reactions, and I'll give my reactions once it's finished as well. This is slightly different from the other war tables in that it's not live, it's just a, a pre-recorded video on YouTube. Welcome to a special Marvel's Avengers War Table Deep Dive, a new format that focuses on one topic, and today that's our first new hero of season one, Kate Bishop. Since launch in September, millions of you have started on this journey with us. Kamala surprised many of you with her disarming sincerity, Come on, going get into from fangirl to Avenger. This. The initial story of Kamala reassembling the Avengers is the foundation for all our content to come, which continues our world story with new heroes and story experiences at no additional cost. Season 1 kicks off with Kate Bishop, Operation Taking Aim, which will be available December 8th. Kate's Operation December is the 8th, first okay. new chapter so in Season 1 of the Avengers three weeks or so away. After coming back together and standing up to aim, the first battle was won. We're getting the Clone Labs 4K actually does come out. The new leader of AIM has far-reaching plans, and that story continues with Kate Bishop in Operation Taking AIM. Better come back, all right? All right, okay, here we go. Oh, there he is, the man, Clint. Not having that conversation. You know we thought you were dead. Nobody heard from you. Using the katana there. Time. Nobody's been foolish enough to actually try it. Wow. I'm not giving up on my friend. Katie? We're talking about time collapsing in on itself to eventually tear reality apart. Ooh, okay. Uh, I have so many questions. Um, but I like the energy, so let's just turn this thing on before I overthink it. Just seems quite annoying, actually. <laughs> I know she's supposed to be flippant, but let's see. Simple. I like it. That's still messing with time. That's that. That might work. We have one shot at this. Great, let's go get Hawkeye. It's a katana there. Understand. I agree to this. What? There we go, there's a teleport. Oh, super adaptoid. That's what we actually believed would be the boss for Kate. So he's essentially got all the powers of all the other Avengers, if you're unsure. Mm, okay. <laughs> okay, so... Interesting, definitely. They had the whole time traveling menu, but that anyway, super adaptoid. So thankfully a new boss, something we very much need. We planned from the beginning to build an interconnected narrative Wonder that unfolds and evolves Easter eggs as we in here. release new content. Operations feature beats of new story that work together to form an arc, like a run of comics or episodes in a season of a show. Kate's operation comes with her own story and unique rewards that you can only get in Taking Aim. Most of old marshmallows, in that's pretty aim, cool actually. Kate is searching for her mentor, Hawkeye. But along the way, she discovers a conspiracy involving Commander Nick Fury, time travel, and a frightening new enemy, the Super Adaptoid. Super Adaptoid oh, wow. was originally introduced in Tales of Suspense nice. number 84. It has a cosmic origin and is programmed to defeat Captain America by copying the abilities of the Avengers. In Marvel's Avengers, it has all of the Avengers' powers and is considered an Omega-level threat in the tougher, multiplayer-only version of the Super Adaptoid boss fight. Our Kate Bishop is voiced by Ashley Birch, best known for her roles as Tiny Tina in Borderlands 2 and 3, Tiny Tina, Aloy she was Hawaii awesome, Zero Dawn, and Chloe Price in Life is Strange. We are so excited to welcome Ashley to the cast. Oh, hey! What's up? What took you so long? Fighting robots? Ha! <laughs> Me too. 
Kate learned much of what she knows from Clint, so that's reflected in her kid. But she has her own heroics and finishers okay, and intrinsics. Okay, here we go. Kate finisher is that a obviously. world-class archer and an adept swordswoman. With repurposed aim tech, she uses quantum energy to power a unique set of special abilities. It'd be fun to go abilities. full melee, actually, with Katana. teleport to the enemy and deal increased sword damage. That's interesting. While her blink skills let her double jump, air damage, there. and traverse ledges via short-range teleportation. Kate can parry enemies with quantum shift, teleporting away from the attack and striking from behind. As a yeah, that was Archer, something we seen in Data Mine a while ago. Of bow skills, Ooh, that looked nice, the arrows. Can be unlocked. For starters, her razor arrows can be fired in a rapid three-shot range combo, or can be fired with perfect timing for bonus damage. Oh, it's going to be fun to get an Archer. I know it's not Clint, I'm really looking forward to it, but it's still fun to get an Archer. Or for doling out damage to enemies that scar is very similar to Marvel Explosive Heroes. Explosive arrows are great for staggering enemies and breaking through their defenses. And don't forget, so I wonder if you just alternate through them the way you would alternate through different weapons on the like of Iron Man and Kate's Black Widow. Unique to her and just use the D-pad, I imagine. Decoy is Kate's support heroic, and it is one of our favorites. It spawns a hologram replica of her that shoots arrows of quantum energy at targets to distract them. That's pretty fun. That could be quite useful. A tanking ability, almost in a way. After image lets you swap places with a Doesn't decoy, it and self-destruct remote detonates the decoy to trigger a large burst of quantum damage. Her Warp Arrow Assault Heroic allows her to teleport over long distances while triggering a large quantum explosion that lifts enemies into the air on her arrival. Wormhole is an upgrade option for Warp Arrow that creates portals allies can use to quickly teleport oh, across wow. the battlefield awesome. and join Kate. I've always talked about that in stream. <laughs> it would be great to have Doctor Strange doing it. It's interesting Kate can do it. Energy. Empowering her bow so she can fire quantum and energy. Steroid, that's generally what your ultimates results. are. They're just Kate steroids. Kind of buff your character for a period of time. Deal with enemies that foolishly venture within striking distance. Let's see if the rain can give see, you high uptime on that. Plentiful arsenal at her disposal. That was nice pulling all the characters together. It could be really some. useful. You seen it with Kamala actually, it worked Every out perfect. Comes with a ton of cosmetics, including emotes, costumes, that's pretty nice that one actually. Many yeah, of these can be no, earned through gameplay, that. but players can also purchase certain cosmetics for their favorite heroes. Once you complete Kate's story, you can jump into a late game version of Kate's final mission to test your skills and earn even better rewards. Before we go, here's a quick look at what's coming after Kate. Popeye's uh, okay. Operation Future Imperfect. Clint's story picks up after the conclusion of Kate's operation and heck? brings us face to face with a distant future where all hope is, like is lost. Old Clint man, and Hawkeye? Operation Hawkeye Future Imperfect will be available early 2021. We'll have more details, oh. including in depth first looks at his gameplay. No Clint in, the in December, future. then, January, at the earliest. That's disappointing. Maestro Hulk. That's pretty cool. Would that be the boss? Season 1 of the Avengers Initiative will bring big changes, and that all starts with story. That includes Next Gen. Marvel's Avengers is coming to Next Gen consoles early 2021, and all current owners will receive the a subject free that I got to PlayStation 5 platforms. today, so I'll look Until to do then, some comparison videos pretty soon as well. Consoles, including cross -gen play, and you'll notice improved performance already with the new hardware. Our journey began with Kamala's single player story and will grow with both Kate and Clint's operations. And we have more improvements and features yet to come. We're always listening to our players, including asks for future features like cross-platform play. We hear you loud and clear. Wait, that was a clone of Labs there, a second ago. Thank you always telling us what you think. Make sure you visit PlayAvengers.com for our weekly blog where you can find everything from patch notes to tips and fun content that Let's you See if we're getting anything else at the end here. Until then, we'll see you online and in the game. I think. No, it's just about us. <laughs> okay, so December the 8th, of course, there's no added cost. Looked pretty fun, her campaign. She did look a bit annoying, but I know that's what she's supposed to be like, quite flippant. So I'm sure people that, that are really into her character will really like that. Love the Hawkeye stuff. Shown off, I'm pretty certain it is Maestro Hulk, that's called. And it looked like old man Hawkeye as well, like really loving they're going there with the story, that 
for me is interesting. That's moving away from your, your usual aim corridors. So December the 8th, it's running about three weeks. Hopefully we'll get the cloning lab maybe this week or the next week. Still definitely a bit of a, a delay in the content. Really disappointing that Hawkeye is going to be January, but we were, well, January at the earliest, but we were potentially hoping for the likes of Black Panther and all that out this year, but these things happen. We need to deal with it. But that content looked interesting. The Hawkeye stuff looked really really interesting that got me excited the maestro part but let me know what you think of this video the release date and so on and thanks for tuning in stay safe and i'll see you all again soon